being a clinical investigator or a clinician investigator or a physician scientist is very challenging and everybody does it a little bit differently. So there's no one way to do it right. I would say, however, that doing great research is really hard and it has an enormous amount of momentum. Doing great science leads to recruiting great investigators into the lab, which leads to great papers, which leads to more funding, which leads to more great science and more great people coming to the lab in a positive reinforcement loop. So establishing that virtuous cycle is really critical at an early stage in a career. Otherwise, things can be much more of a struggle. At the same time as establishing that, maintaining enough clinical work to maintain clinical expertise, to in continue to enjoy the clinical work and the fun of being a clinician is critical as well. And then as the investigation, as the research gets established, then the mix of clinical work and research can change over time. But I think if there's a focus on being a great researcher, establishing that early and making sure there's enough protected time to do so is really critical. There's no secret formula for balancing your, your research career with your clinical responsibilities. As a clinical investigator, it certainly helps to be clinically active for new ideas and for maximal relevance. That said, it's important to remember that many important contributions are made by people without clinical degrees who focus entirely on research. As you get further along in your research career, after many years of clinical service, many physician scientists find that time demands are truly daunting and that clinical work is the one part that is easiest to let go. Now that's only possible with grant funding. And those grants will only come to those with lots of experience in a topic, with lots of publications, and with important collaborators in the field. This grant funding is the key to keeping it all together. And this speaks to the importance of having a research focus and not chasing every interesting idea that crosses your desk. As a mentor, one of my most important jobs is to help my mentees stay focused and productive so that they are able to acquire the resources that can help them to balance the many different demands on their time.